Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, magazines, the one, the only course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Chris and Guide 2009. Of course, you guys are interested in this channel before I began. Definitely check out FreeNote.com. Of course, subject series on that. If any people want fresh channel banners, I know I'm pretty sure specifically ready for you. I'll put the link in the description box below to their official YouTube account, Chaz channel page. If any people are interested in that partnership, best partnership I've ever had, and definitely check out their official website. Um, I'll put their link, everything else, in their Google account as well. Just give them a listen to there. And there we go. I'm sorry if I'm so out of breath. <sighs> Just came back from the gym. And I've been, oh man, I was busting my ass at work today. I can't even tell you how bad that was. Um, I mean, everything was good. It's just the customers that were a-holes, unfortunately. But anyways, we're not going to get into that. <sighs> I'm still trying to catch my breath. <laughs> I apologize for the unprofessionalism. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is another Colt Stallion, amazing DVNR artist right here, like I've said in the past. Can't hold the truth. So this is by Colt Stallion once again. And, um, yeah, let's just see this thing right here. I don't know why he decided to do it, but maybe he's a real big, like, fan of Minecraft. But I guess he's a big Minecraft fanboy, I guess, or whatever, if you want to call him that. Uh, I never really got too deep into Minecraft. It's a decent game. It's just, it's not really for my generation that much. Uh, I was born as a 90s kid, obviously, so you know I was more in the 90s stuff than I am now. I'm not a nostalgia tart or anything like that. It's just some of the stuff back then was a lot better than the crap we got now. I'm just saying. Not all of it. There's some things I like about nowadays that are more beneficiary and a little bit more efficient. And they're 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 pretty much the odds are in my favor sometimes. And other times, they're <laughs> it just sucks to be in this decade. Not all the time, but sometimes. But anyways, um, yeah, we're only like five years until the 2020. So I want to see how that goes. <laughs> I'm still waiting for flying cars, you know? <laughs> uh, but it is, it's, it is what it is. I don't really don't care. Now I'm going way off topic. So this is like a Derpy Who's and Dinky Do um, comment dub. I normally don't get really do to do many of these. I've done a couple of reactions of Derpy Who's on a couple of YouTube um, videos I've seen in the past for animations, fan animations. But I think the last two I did was um, <laughs> way back, I think, 2013 or last year. It might have been last year, 2014, when Derpy rages out. I think that's what it was called. Or Derpy doesn't get a muffin and she gets pissed the hell off at everything. She just wants to kill everything in their path. She doesn't want nothing to do with cupcakes. She likes muffins more. And then I also did another, um, just recently last week, I actually posted up a, um, a reaction to um, Derpy, Derpy Makes Muffins. It was like a live action slash animated type of um, sort of video. I had that little Shy FIM video guy. So if any people don't know who he is, he's pretty big. He's about 85, 90,000 subscribers. So that dude's pretty huge. <laughs> Unrightfully so, because the dude has a shoot, he has a crap ton of um, amazing animation um, talents. So yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can do Derpy's voice. Not the one that Tapa Saint Germain did last week, that Cookie Monster one. Ah, <sighs> I'm still having problems with that voice of Derpy, man. I'm just gonna do the one that Bald Dumbo Rat and the other chick made, you know, Rich Lotus. So here we go. Uh, but the one I will give a speech impediment um, voice issue to is um, this thing right here, Dinky. Because that's how I think how she would sound if she was in that show or the episode. Here we go. And then all the muffins were sold in a tiny bakery. And what? That's such a sweet story. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. It's too horrible and you're way too young. But what about happens for your ugly muffins? Fine. At first, ugly muffins were gathered in separate room for the rest. Fine. I'm a big feeling now. I need to know what's going to happen. They were brought to a room with faithful twist awaits them. They were... Thrown away. No, no, don't cry, little one. You have to be strong now. <laughs> I know it's probably the worst terrible impression of Derpy if you probably ever heard, but I mean, if I was a girl, I'd probably be able to do it better, but I'm a dude. I'm a grown man, so psh, there's no way in hell I'm ever getting that right. Unless I was going through puberty again like I was, pff, I think, 10, 11 years ago, because then it would have been different, you know? 
Anyways, um, actually, I'll say like eight, nine years ago, I wasn't 12. What the hell? <laughs> um, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. This was a super short ass freaking comma dub, but this is the thing you expect with comma dubs. They're not that long, but um, the difference with my comma dubs and thousands and maybe millions at this point, other people com people's comic dubs is that, of course, they do their stuff a lot more professionally. They use stuff like Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, Tasia, um, Sony sound effects simulators and all this other PC like fancy smancy type of um, equipment I don't have that type of money to buy thousands of dollars worth of equipment like that so yeah I mean I could do it but <laughs> uh, I probably end up going broke and homeless on the streets if I were to get something like that so uh, yeah I don't want that to happen I just don't um yeah all I'm using is just a smartphone thing that's recording. I'm not using state-of-the-art equipment, you know? It is what it is, you know? You guys should see it by now. Um, yeah, so as far as the pacing was, it was real fast. Um, Dicky do I don't know. I guess she was kind of being a little bit of a pushover to her mother, Derpy. And this is one thing I've never gotten. I think I might have said this about three years ago when I first joined the Brony community, but I still doesn't... I still don't see the fact on how in God's name does she have a unicorn daughter when she's a Pegasus. Why didn't she have a Pegasus daughter instead of a unicorn one? That's that thing that always freaking drives me crazy of why did they do that for the fandom. I mean, it's all good. Like, it is what it is. It's their own interpretation. I'm not bashing on them for it or hating on them, but... Eh. I mean, I understand if they did it for, like, Mr. and Mrs. Cake, you know, because... I think Pound Cake ended up being a Pegasus Pony and a, what's it called? His sister Pumpkin Cake ended up being like a unicorn. So I guess those Pony Genetics, that that's what they said, or just Pony Chances of them turning into a certain species of race, which would be regular Earth Pony, Unicorn Pony, or just Pegasus Pony. Or if they're real lucky, like the princess is an Alicorn at Pony. And uh, fortunately, I guess, either they're born like that, like how Luna and Celestia were, or they're created that way, like how Cadence and Twilight were, you know? Or Trishalis, like in a lot of the fanfics she's in. <laughs> Trust me, I read a whole bunch of fanfics on that chick. She's awesome as hell. I mean, Microcom, she's even more crazier, but I love her for it, you know? She's just a beast, Trishalis. Anyways, that's not about her. Um, last thing I'm going to say about this, colors are awesome. I love the design artwork. I like that funny little reference to the Minecraft series, that little creeper doll that she has right there. Um, and what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, I like that little scare tactic that she tries to use on Dinky when they throw away all the muffins. And she doesn't cry, but Derpy does. Um, very, very ironic, but at the same time, very enjoyable. I enjoyed it to every single little stitch of reading, um, not reading style, but a lot of, like, the drawing art style this man did for this amazing comic dub. And that's it. So, I'll link in the description down below, and of course in the annotations on the side, if any people want to actually like see it on your own, and uh, any of Cole Stallion's other future projects that he's going to be doing. And that's it. So, peace out once again. Bros, women, bronies, and packages. I will see you when I see you. You guys have a good day. Have a good night, wherever in the world. Don't drink smoke with the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it loud out there. And until then, guys, peace out. Ladies, come by. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And until then, that's guys. Take it easy, stay safe, all this good stuff, stay in the grind, stay easy with you. Be easy with you, do you do yourself. Until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, Motley Sauerkraut. Uh, stay tuned for more future content on this channel. Look out for more future content again. And, of course, stay, um, stay tuned for more updates. Take it easy, stay safe, I'm out. I'll talk to you guys in the next future video. Take care, goodbye, and uh, have a great rest of the day, and happy early 4th of July if you see it during this time period.